This story begins deep in the jungles of Central America, where ancient stone cities once pierced the canopy and kings ruled with divine authority. For 3,000 years, the Maya civilization flourished, pioneering science, mathematics, and monumental architecture. But something went wrong. Their temples fell silent. Their cities vanished beneath vines. Now, archaeologists armed with space-age technology are racing to uncover what really happened. Lost tombs, cryptic glyphs, and cosmic calendars all hold pieces of the puzzle. What caused one of history's most advanced civilizations to collapse? And could answers still lie beneath the jungle floor, waiting to be revealed? Let's begin the search. Kingdoms in the Canopy The Maya didn't just build cities. They created empires of stone, each one a marvel of engineering and ambition. In places like Copan, Palenque, and Tikal, massive pyramids rose from the rainforest like mountains built by men. These weren't isolated towns. They were sprawling city-states, each ruled by a king who claimed divine power. In their golden age, the Maya dominated a region that stretched over 250,000 square kilometers. What made them extraordinary wasn't just their scale. It was their sophistication. They mapped the stars with unmatched precision, designed intricate writing systems, and calculated calendars more accurate than those in Europe for centuries to come. In cities like Copan, more than 20,000 people lived under the rule of dynasties that lasted centuries. Each ruler left behind temples, carvings, and monuments to his greatness. But not everything was carved in stone. Some stories were buried, literally. Inside the temples, beneath layers of painted walls and sacred platforms, archaeologists have begun uncovering tombs filled with jade, pearls, and skeletal remains. These discoveries are slowly piecing together a forgotten timeline. Who were these rulers? How did they rise to power? And more hauntingly, how did it all fall apart? The jungle may hold the answer, but to find it, scientists must now turn to space. Secrets Beneath the Stone At the heart of Copan, one temple has captivated archaeologists for generations. Temple 11. Towering above the plaza, this stone giant hides more than just history. It might hold the tomb of a long-lost king. For nearly two centuries, excavators searched for royal burials, but only a handful have ever been found. If another lies beneath Temple 11, it could rewrite everything known about Maya royalty. To reach answers hidden deep within its stone walls, scientists are now using a revolutionary tool, muon imaging. Borrowed from particle physics, this technique scans massive structures by detecting subatomic particles that pass through solid matter. It's like taking an X-ray of a mountain. When used on Egypt's Great Pyramid, muon scans revealed a secret chamber. Now, Experts hope it will do the same at Copan. Detection plates are carefully installed within a narrow tunnel snaking below the temple. The heat and humidity of the jungle make every step a challenge. But if the scan detects a cavity, it might point to a hidden tomb and perhaps one of the lost kings of Copan. The stakes are high. A single discovery could offer insight into the ruler's final years, the riches they were buried with, and the myths that surrounded their deaths. The past is silent, but not impenetrable. The King in the Pyramid Far from Copan, another Maya mystery was solved beneath the Grand Temple of the inscriptions in Palenque. For centuries, the building stood like a riddle wrapped in stone. Scholars believed it was ceremonial, maybe astronomical, but a series of small, round plugs in the floor hinted at something more. When those stone plugs were removed, they revealed a staircase, spiraling downward into darkness. Archaeologists spent two years excavating the narrow corridor. Each step felt like descending into a secret world. At the bottom, hidden in the pyramid's heart, they uncovered a colossal stone sarcophagus, 20 tons of carved limestone sheltering the remains of a king. Inside was Pakal the Great, the most powerful ruler Palenque had ever known. Buried with jade ornaments, intricate jewelry, and a magnificent death mask, his tomb stunned the world. That mask, 
bright green and sculpted from pure jade, symbolized youth frozen in time. In death, Pakal was given eternal life. The discovery proved that Maya temples weren't just monuments, they were tombs, time capsules, and declarations of power. It also proved that Maya engineering rivaled any on Earth. Could Copan's Temple 11 be hiding a burial just as lavish? If so, what treasures might still lie buried, untouched for over a thousand years? The past had already spoken once. It might speak again. Cracking the Maya Code For decades, Maya monuments whispered stories no one could understand. Their stairways and temple walls were covered in intricate glyphs, strange, beautiful symbols that hinted at great battles, celestial events, and divine rulers. But early archaeologists couldn't read them. Some dismissed the glyphs as religious art. Others guessed they were astrological charts. The truth was far more profound. The breakthrough came not in stone, but in a fragile book, the Dresden Codex. One of only four surviving Maya manuscripts, it became the Rosetta Stone of Maya civilization. Scholars noticed a drawing of a dog surrounded by glyphs. If that image matched the word dog, then other symbols might correspond to sounds or meanings. Slowly, piece by piece, the puzzle unraveled. Maya script wasn't just art, it was language, a powerful writing system using over 800 symbols that could represent sounds, syllables, or whole words. Unlike the Western alphabet, it combined the complexity of Chinese with the rhythm of poetry. This discovery changed everything. Suddenly, kings had names, dates had meaning, histories emerged from silence. At Copan, the glyphs revealed a lineage of 16 rulers, each one commemorated in stone. But gaps remained, missing names, forgotten battles, unmarked tombs. Deciphering the glyphs lit a torch in the darkness, but to uncover the full story, archaeologists had to keep digging, both in stone and in soil. The Dynasty Beneath Copan Deep beneath the Acropolis of Copan, archaeologists discovered something extraordinary, a hidden world carved in darkness. After 15 years of meticulous tunneling, they uncovered a brightly painted temple buried under layers of construction. Its name, Rosalila. Preserved in perfect condition, it was a temple frozen in time. Rosalila wasn't just an ancient shrine. Beneath it lay tombs, sealed chambers, hiding secrets of a vanished dynasty. One skeleton lay on a stone slab, surrounded by jade ornaments, carved rings, and even teeth inlaid with jewels. These were not the remains of a commoner. They belonged to a king, a founder. The evidence pointed to Kinich Yaks Kukmo, the first ruler of the Kopan dynasty. But there was a twist. His bones weren't native to the region. This king was an outsider who rose to power far from his birthplace. And nearby, another tomb added intrigue. The burial of a woman entombed with pearls, jade, and pottery so fine it rivaled any queen's. Analysis showed she was local. Was she his wife, his partner in power? The tombs suggest a marriage of cultures and ambition, a dynasty built not just on conquest, but alliance. These time capsules brought clarity to Copan's beginnings, but half the royal line still remained missing. Somewhere beneath the city, their stories waited, locked behind centuries of stone. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. A Tomb Lost in Time Among the temples of Copan, one structure holds more questions than answers. Temple 7. Now it is mostly collapsed and overgrown, and it may seem like just another ruin. However, archaeologist Seichi Nakamura believes this forgotten monument could hide a royal tomb, which explains the unraveling of an empire. It begins with a tragedy. In the 8th century AD, Copan's 13th king was captured and executed by a rival city. His death marked the beginning of the end. The kingdom's decline set in quickly. Monuments became smaller, inscriptions fewer. 
Nakamura suspects the tomb of the 13th King's son lies buried within Temple 7. If so, it could hold the final chapter of the Kopan Dynasty's rise and fall. Excavation begins. Amid the rubble, the team finds incense burners, jade fragments, and most unsettling, human bones. These weren't ordinary remains. Some were dismembered, others burned, possibly part of ancient rituals to sanctify the tomb. Nearby, more fragments appear, bits of pottery, carved stone. Everything points to a royal burial. But is this the missing heir? Could his grave hold answers to how Copan's golden age ended? To the Maya, burial was never just about death. It was about transformation. Tombs weren't tombs. They were portals to the underworld, sealed with stories only the brave dared unearth. Now, with each artifact, the past begins to stir. Stairway of the Kings in the southern plaza of Copan, one monument towers not with height, but with words. Known as the Hieroglyphic Stairway, it's the longest written record in the Maya world. 62 steps, over 2,000 glyphs, and a timeline carved into stone. It tells the saga of Copan's rulers, from the founder to the final flickers of a fading empire. This grand staircase wasn't built all at once. It began under the 13th king, but his execution left it unfinished. His grandson, the 15th king, completed the work as an act of remembrance and resilience. The glyphs speak of victories, alliances, rituals, and cosmic signs. They are propaganda and prophecy intertwined. In front of the stairway stands a statue, regal, stoic. It's believed to be the 15th king himself. Around him, the plaza was remodeled, walls reshaped, temples raised, it was a last attempt to restore the city's glory, to remind people of what once was. Seichi Nakamura suspects this same king may lie buried within Temple 11, just beyond the stairway. If true, his tomb could be the key to understanding the final efforts to hold Copan together. Glyphs preserve the words, but the tomb may preserve the truth. As history winds upward along the carved steps, the city's fate hangs on one unanswered question. What lies behind the final door? Cities revealed by light. For centuries, thick jungle cloaked the full scale of the Maya world. Only a few temple tops peeked above the trees, leaving explorers to guess what lay beneath. That changed with a single flash of modern technology, LIDAR, a laser scanning method that strips away vegetation to expose the ruins below. In Guatemala, researchers flew over more than 2,000 square kilometers of forest. What they found stunned the world. LIDAR revealed over 60,000 hidden structures, roads, homes, canals, and fortresses. Maya cities weren't scattered settlements. They were interconnected kingdoms with highways carved into the earth. At Tikal, a city thought to be isolated now appeared surrounded by defenses. A massive wall circled the city, revealing a civilization that lived in fear. Not all Maya kingdoms were friends. Alliances were forged, but rivalries ran deep. Cities fought over territory, resources, and power. Some battles left scars in stone. Others vanished in silence. LIDAR doesn't just show what's there. It shows what once thrived. The population is ten times larger than previously imagined. Temples taller, cities wider. The Maya world was a network of ambition, survival, and brilliance far beyond what anyone had guessed. And yet, for all their complexity, one question remains. What brought them down? The clues are mounting, but some of the most revealing may not be in stone at all. They may be hidden underwater. The lake that remembers. In the heart of Mexico, beside an abandoned Maya site, lies a quiet lake. Its surface reflects the sky, but beneath it, time is trapped. Tetsu Nakagawa and his team believe the answer to the Maya collapse may be buried in its mud. Armed with a floating platform and geological tools, they begin their descent, not into the earth, but into layers of sediment that haven't seen light in over a thousand years. Each layer is a page in history, 
dust, pollen, algae, tiny signatures of environmental change. As samples are drawn, patterns emerge. A timeline of droughts, floods, and climate extremes begins to take shape. Around the 9th century AD, something changed. The lake shows clear evidence of severe, prolonged drought. It aligns with the same time many Maya cities were abandoned. Without water, the crops failed. Without crops, kingdoms crumbled. Even the mighty couldn't escape nature's grip. This wasn't the fall of one city. It was the unraveling of an entire civilization pushed to the edge by climate, conflict, and fragile systems. The tombs told of kings and queens. The glyphs spoke of battles and stars. But the mud? It told the story of survival and surrender. In the silence of the lake bed, the earth whispered what the stones could not. And that whisper may finally explain it all. Power, jade, and the price of immortality. Among all the treasures left behind by the Maya, none shimmer with more meaning than jade. Harder than steel, rarer than gold, jade was the soul of Maya royalty. It adorned kings in life and protected them in death. Necklaces, rings, death masks, each piece carried status, spirituality, and the promise of eternity. But jade was more than a gem. It was power. Whoever controlled the jade trade controlled political influence. That's why Maya rulers forged alliances with regions rich in jade. Controlling the source meant controlling the throne. Cutting jade was no easy task. Without metal tools, Maya artisans used garnet sand and stone blades, working for weeks to shape a single ornament. Yet they did it, not just to decorate, but to symbolize life everlasting. A jade mask placed on a corpse wasn't merely ceremonial. It was a passport to the underworld. In temples and tombs across Copan, Palenque, and Tikal, jade still glows from the darkness. In one tomb, a woman lies buried with pearls and emerald stones, her name unknown, but her power unmistakable. In another, a founder king's remains are crowned with jade inlaid teeth, declaring royalty with every smile, dead or alive. The Mayans believed their glory would last, and perhaps it has, not just in monuments, but in every stone, glyph, and treasure still whispering through the jungle. The jungle has reclaimed its cities. The temples are quiet, but the Maya story is far from over. Through tombs, glyphs, and the secrets of the earth, their voices rise once more. A civilization that mastered the stars, built empires from stone, and fell not in a blaze, but in silence. Yet their brilliance still echoes in every jade carving, every buried staircase, every coded glyph waiting to be read. As technology pulls back the canopy of time, the ancient Maya speak again, not in whispers, but in thunder. Their legacy isn't just history, it's a mystery still unfolding, step by carved step.